Good morning, Hawks. Welcome to our first announcements of the 24-25 school year. Today is Friday, August 30th, 2024. Please stand for the Pledges of Allegiance and a moment of silence. And now the Pledge of Allegiance to the United States. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, one and indivisible. And now for a moment of silence. Thank you. Students, it's very important that you check your attendance every day. Um, if you see a problem, talk to your teacher in the attendance office. Um, this is, you know, mistakes happen. So make sure that you're checking it. Along with attendance, Friday and Saturday school is going to be starting next Saturday, September 7th. So that's why you need to be checking your attendance and get your seat time done. Please, please, please get it done early. When you come, make sure you have your ID and make sure that you have a charged Chromebook and work that you need to be completed and make sure that you are on time. Your day is coming up on September 23rd, 24th, and 25th. This is for 9th, 10th, and 11th graders. If you are a senior and you need to have a retake and, and underclassmen, but that will be October 17th and 18th in the library. The library will be closed for lunch that day. Order your yearbook. It is $60. Scan this QR code to order. The prices will increase on October 31st. Join the Spanish club. Even if you don't speak Spanish, that's okay. They make everyone feel welcomed and valued. So join Spanish club, do lots of fun activities, food, um, games, and such. So the first meeting is Wednesday 28th from 3 to 4. This is for students and honors and AP. Um, if you are wanting to drop, you may only request to drop an advanced class at the end of four weeks or nine weeks and at the end of the first semester. You should pick up the drop request form from Mrs. Falcon's office in D300 or from the counseling office. You are responsible for getting all portions completed and for turning it in before the deadline. Your request is not a guarantee that you will get to drop. So make sure you fill it out and read all the instructions, fill it out carefully, and follow the directions and turn your form into D300. These universities are going to be here on September 3rd during your lunch. So, especially seniors, be looking forward to this. We've got Samford University, Mississippi State, Drake University, University of Cincinnati, University of Tulsa, and University of Arkansas. Senior families, be aware that the Get Flocked 2025 fundraiser has begun. Be prepared that you might see some volunteers in your yard with plastic flamingos. Students, uh, just remind your families about this so that um, when they see a volunteer, they're not, um, you know, startled by it. So please be kind to the people who are in your yard um, just helping out with this fun fundraiser. All right, Hawk fans. So on home game days, there is a special at Chick-fil-A on Highway 26 at Precinct Line. On these game days this season, um, from 1030 to 9 p.m., you can get a free eight count chicken nuggets. Get this special offer by scanning your Chick-fil-A one app, mentioning the promotion, and ordering a medium waffle fries and medium drink all right birdville basketball they um the basketball team is getting ready for the next season um in our daily newsletter there is links on this um flyer and so make sure you're paying attention if you've got questions talk to 
Coach Holman um, or Coach Tippett or Coach Hudak um, about questions that you have regarding the coming up basketball season. Last Monday on August 26th was Women's Independent Day, Independence Day. On August 26, 1920, the 19th Amendment was added to the U.S. Constitution, assuring women the right to vote. To achieve this goal, women's rights advocates called suffragettes um, and suffragettes used a variety of tactics, including voting when it was illegal to do so. In the century that has passed since the 19th Amendment, women's rights advocates have continued to work toward full and equal participation in all aspects of American life. Laws have been passed that forbid discrimination on the basis of gender and women's more significant contributions are now being recognized. Today, we commemorate the ratification of the 19th Amendment and celebrate the contributions of those who work to achieve the right to vote and the contributions of all women who benefit from their achievements. All right, everyone, make sure that you know the school closes at 310. All students should be out of the building unless you are with a sponsor. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the daily newsletter. Well, Hawks, that is your news for today. Don't forget, no school on Monday, three-day weekend. So have a great Friday and have a great weekend.